How's it going guys? Joey Duca here from CSE Motorcycles. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to adjust your valves on your SG and TT250. You need to adjust the valves on internal combustion engines to ensure they completely close and provide a good seal. Valves get extremely hot and only cool when they close and transfer their heat to the cylinder head. Neglecting to adjust your valves will cause poor performance and potentially catastrophic damage. The SG and TT250 share the same engine, so this video covers both motorcycles. Valves need to be adjusted at your first 500 mile service and every 2,500 miles thereafter. Only adjust the valve clearance when your engine is completely cold. Since the engine's internals will be exposed, perform this delicate job with a clean engine and in a clean environment. If you feel you cannot perform any of these steps, please take your motorcycle to a professional motorcycle technician. Removal of the fuel tank is not necessary, but will make access to the valves easier, especially if this is your first time. Valve adjustment is also covered in our online tutorial section at cscmotorcycles.com. Check the link in the description. Tools needed. Feeler gauge set. Feeler gauge sets come with both imperial and metric measurements printed on them. Set the valves to 0.003 imperial or 0.76 millimeters. 10 millimeter wrench, needle nose pliers, ratchet, 12 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter deep socket, 14 millimeter deep socket, 17 millimeter deep socket, large flat screwdriver, number two Phillips screwdriver, Impact driver with number three Phillips bit or number three Phillips screwdriver. Hammer and flat tip punch. To remove the tank on the TT250, first step, turn the fuel petcock to the closed position and disconnect the fuel hose. Disconnect the vent line to the charcoal canister. Remove the left and right side panels. Unscrew seat mounting bolts and remove seat. Remove the rear fuel tank mounting bolts. Unscrew the Phillips head screws on the inner side of the front tank shrouds. Carefully lift and slide the tank rearward to unhook the front of the tank from the rubber mounts. Pull up the front of the tank and disconnect the fuel sending unit connector. Completely remove the fuel tank and place in a safe location. To remove the tank on the SG250, First step, turn the fuel petcock to the closed position and disconnect the fuel hose. Remove the seat mounting bolts and remove the seat. Remove the left and right side panels. Remove the rear tank mounting bolts. Prop tank and disconnect the vent line and fuel level sensor. Remove the fuel tank and place somewhere safe. The overflow hose is not attached and simply routed behind the engine away from the exhaust. Adjusting the valves. 
Using a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, remove the three valve cover bolts. There are two on the right side and one on the left. Remove the spark plug cap and emissions hose. Carefully remove the valve cover and place it on a clean shop rag. Remove the spark plug. Using an impact driver with a number three Phillips bit, remove the left side engine cover. If an impact driver is not available, using a number three Phillips screwdriver aided with a wrench will be useful. Stripped screw heads can be reshaped by lightly tapping the head with a flat punch and hammer. Replacing the Phillips screws with a six by one by 16 millimeter flange head bolt will make removal easier for the next time. 2021 models will be shipped with these bolts. Using a large flat screwdriver, remove the timing hole cap. Using a 14 millimeter deep socket and ratchet, spin the engine in a counterclockwise rotation. Get familiar with the parts of the valve train. The exhaust valve is in the front and the intake valve is in the back. The spinning camshaft push on lifters, which in turn push push rods. Now the push rods activate rocker arms the rocker arms open the valves. The valve springs close the valves. The valves need to be adjusted when they are completely closed. The distance between the rocker and the valve is what we're adjusting. Transversely mounted engines spin in the same direction as the wheels do going forward. Always spin the engine counterclockwise. When spinning the engine, look for the intake valve to open and close. The next time you see the T-mark in the timing hole, the engine will be at top dead center of the compression stroke. This is when both intake and exhaust valves are closed. Check the current valve clearance of each of the valves with your feeler gauge. Record your findings for future reference. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen the rocker lock nut. Adjust using a suitable wrench or needle nose pliers. Turn the adjuster until light tension is felt with the feeler gauge. Remove the feeler gauge. Tightening the lock nut with the feeler gauge inserted could damage it. Pull the adjuster and tighten the lock nut. Recheck the valve clearance. The next smaller size feeler gauge should feel loose. The next larger size feeler gauge should not be able to enter. It might take few attempts to get the proper clearance, readjust if necessary. Assembly is reverse order of disassembly.
Thanks guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos from CSC Motorcycles. Thanks for watching.